Do you guys know what the word otokunoku means in Japanese? This series is called Senpai is an otokunoku. And um, instead of me explaining to you what it means, I'll simply let the trailer play. Let's check it out. I think most people have things about them that aren't normal. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Normal. Mm, okay. Okay. But I might be a little stranger than most. Really? What's what's different about you? I thought about quitting so many times because it's strange for a man to like cute things. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> if you can see the um, the designs, it's 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 it's, it's um, a man liking cute things, and there's a seemingly uh, a person you know dressing up right now. So, can you guys connect the dots? Are you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? But I. But I. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Yo, this girl's pretty hot, right? Look at this cute person. I just want to like the things that I like. All right. Senpai is an otokunoko. This is him. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. <sighs> TV anime coming. Don't worry. We got three more trailers right now. And I think the rest of it is just Crunchyroll ad. That's, that's the first trailer. So the first trailer that they dropped six months ago, they kind of started off kind of teasing the idea. They didn't want to drop the bombshell on you that this dude has a cock. <laughs> but hey, slowly, slowly pushing the envelope and be like, all right, we got a new enemy coming, guys. You know, it's going to be a little different. Trailer number two. Yeah. A girl telling falling in love with another girl? Yuri? I worked up my courage. I worked up my courage and I told my senpai I loved her. But she had a secret. Oh no. Uh oh. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> I thought being with you, being your best friend, would be enough. But. Alright, who's, who's talking? Is it Senpai? I think that's the Senpai. That's the Senpai voice. I just want to be able to love the things I love. Yeah? I'm not the grand girl you think I am? Actually, a man! I'm a boy! Senpai's no Tokonoko. This is him. We got two more trailers. We got tra two more trailers. But the second trailer is now fully revealing the secret that it's looking like a Koha is in love with the girl who is a cross-dressing boy. And this is Senpai right here. That seems to be the premise of the anime. We got two more trailers though. Here we go. Yeah. What, guys can't have beautiful things? Okay, what kind of traits? Should we get a wig for this anime reactions? Should we get a whole ass fucking wig? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's time to put these on. Huh? Maybe. 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 It's. I gotta put the fucking. The fucking. No, I'm not putting this shit on. <laughs> Wait, the fucking crowd chat for the fucking. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Like what? Oh, wait, wait, I missed something, I missed something, I missed, I missed something, I missed something, uh, what, what did she say? Welcome to Senpai, I want to tell you something, please, think, oh, this is the confession incoming. Wow, she drew like a whale and everything! Look, she has a whale and seagulls? <laughs> Me? Wow. She's pretty bold, the Kohai just points at you. <laughs> 
Oh my god, look at the fucking sunset, bro, over here. But looking like a very alpha, strong Kohai that pegs the senpai, bro. Is this Yuri or not? And that is gonna be the focal point of a lot of anime content creators on YouTube. When this anime airs, no doubt Chibi Review is gonna make a video asking, is this Yuri or not? What is Yuri? At the end of the day, these are simply semantics. Definition of wording that revolves around, that, that results in people having arguments even though they pretty much agree on the same thing. Yuri, in my opinion, is a relationship between a girl and a girl, right? Two girls romantically involved in an anime, I think that is the traditional understanding of what Yuri is. Now, Kohai is a girl. Do you identify the boy as a girl? Now, we're going into social constructs of what, you know, gender is and sex. Sex is, what is it? Uh, biology, chromosomes, XX, XY, right? XY is guy, XX is girl. Sorry, XY is guy, XX is girl. But then gender is like, what is it? Some sort of um, stereotypical traits that you would associate with a boy or a girl. Now it gets a little bit murky and some people don't believe in this shit. Some people do. So and then we're going to be stuck in this forever fucking loop of like, no, a trap is not a girl. Yeah, it's a trap is a girl. It depends on... I guess what the main character is, if he's a cross-dresser, if he's cross-dressing, I think a lot of cross-dressers still identify themselves as a man, and cross-dressing is like an outlet for them to live a fantasy as a girl. Maybe in dressed mode they would identify as a girl, but baseline they wouldn't. Then there's actual trans people who then take hormone, you know, HRT and stuff like that to then become an actual woman according to their gender roles, right? And then that would be actual Yuri. But again, if this is cross-dressing, I don't think this is like a trans person. Maybe it's like the onset of it. But if you're sticking with like a cross-dressing person, depends on what the character identifies as. And if he is a girl in the girl dressed mode, then it is Yuri. But again, this kind of discussion never ends in anything good because a lot of people are homophobic. A lot of people are transphobic. People have different understanding of different semantics. But I think I gave a pretty good explanation on whether or not this is Yuri. So is it Yuri? Depends. I don't know if the guy fucking thinks he's a girl or not. <laughs> Why? Why does she care so much? So the senpai has a male best friend as well. Are they gonna do some sort of love triangle? Of like, senpai here has a male best friend, but there's also the kohai girl that's going for senpai. Is this gay or Yuri? Oh, fuck it. Is this Yaoi or Yuri? It's both. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they just threw another fucking variable into the equation. Uh oh. What's going on here now, man? <laughs> the wig's coming off. <laughs> yeah. Why did you take your fucking- Why you show me your belly like that? You're not even showing me your fucking titties. Are you trying to tell me that I have a lack of a chest, right? What are you, what's happening with this fucking thing, bro? Nanda. <laughs> we got one more trailer. We got one more trailer, okay? Oh, there's a little bit more at the end here, too. Yeah, I guess you are. Now what? <laughs> now what? And she's like, shit, I'm only into girls. Bye. I don't fucking know. Uh, yo, what's going on, Luke? <laughs> We're watching this new fucking <laughs> anime trailer. We got a fourth one. We got a, we got we, we got we got a fourth one. Okay, the final trailer, which aired uh, two hour two hours ago. Oh, this it is fucking new as fuck, bro. All right, let's see it. Yeah. Yeah. Take your wig off. Show me your titties. Yep. Uh huh. And then what's her response? Yes. Oh, she's a mega fan of this. Oh, I thought that she might be like, nah, I'm only into girls. She actually loves it even fucking more. <laughs> Opening. 
Okay, I mean, look, 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 look. You got the main best friend of the... You got, you got the male best friend of the main character who's a trap, right? And then you got the girl. These two. This is straight up a fucking love triangle happening. Thank you so much, that's the bro. With the three months of prime, I appreciate them, my man. Thank you, thank you. Very generous. But it's looking like this is gonna be a fucking love triangle. Because you got the girl and you got the guy. I, I, I wonder what the guy likes. Nah, this is going to be just a best friend, right? They're, they're competing over just like friendship here. I don't think he's competing with the senpai. <laughs> we, he, he had a boyfriend! We are quite close. Yes. Out. Confirmed. That's confirmed. Okay. Childhood friends. My shisho? A wavering story of growth about three friends. Three friends. Three friends, romance, and friendship. All right, I wonder what the parents think of the kid. He hides it? Oh. Damn. This is actually, this might not be just some dumb fan service, but they're, they're hitting on some tones, like actual representation of people that feel like they have a different gender identity but has to conform to it at home because I have to be the son mom wants even though I want to be somewhere else. This could actually get pretty deep, huh? <laughs> if, if anything, I bet it's gonna be a little bit of miscommunication, misunderstanding, and then the mom will probably like support the son's hobbies. I feel like that's the direction they might go with this show. I mean, the mom looks pretty kind. Unless the mom is like a huge fucking, you know, homophobe. Like a transphobe. I don't even know. Mom's just like... Hmm? My boy's out there dressing up like a girl. I ain't raised no pussy, sissy-ass liberal. I don't know. I, I don't think that the mom is gonna be like that. It would be fucking hilarious out of, no, out of context if he did that. The dad is also not present. Maybe the dad left. Maybe the dad left because the son had that cross-dressing hobby and is like, that's not, I don't have a son, that's a daughter, and left and the mom just sticking around. Who knows, but this could have potential to be deeper than it seems. The love I feel isn't the kind of love you're thinking of. What do you, what do you, what do you mean by that? What do, you, what, do you, what do you mean? Different types of love for a homie, you know, there is homosexuality, but there's also homie sexuality. What kind of love does he have for his friend? Hmm. I can't tell who's gonna win! It's looking like the best friend's gonna fucking win, dude! Tears! Oh no, tears! Well, there you have it. The definition of otokonoku in Japanese, I believe, is a boy that looks like a girl or some kind of cross dressing hobbies, right? And Senpai is no tokonoku. It's coming out very soon. This will most likely be an anime that everyone will watch the first couple episodes and drop because of the shock, the virality of it. We'll be here to cover it. If you enjoy it, we can continue to make, you know, content around it. But, uh, yeah, this, this one's gonna light the fucking... This, this one is gonna be very, uh, quote-unquote controversial. Everyone is gonna be talking about this one. Huh? It's gonna be pretty fun, I think.